Welcome to another episode of Green Fans, guys. So, my day one time. Budget. Budget. Thanks. Thank, thank you for all your views. Um, we're very happy with what's happening right yes, now. Yes, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. So, tonight's panel, I'm Gio. Uh, it's Kiko. Naveen. And, wow. Volleyball. <laughs> Wednesday wasn't a good day for the South fans. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, what happened? What happened there? Like, um, we needed it to stop Atene from sweeping and getting that tries to beat advantage in the finals. But we ended up dropping it in four sets. Yes. Four sets. So Which was less than the five setter in the first round. Yeah. So what happened? I was, I was, I, I wasn't. I scored more points than that. Yeah, scored more points. Than <laughs> I was in the, I was in the office. Mm -hmm. I got to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so what happened, um, I was there, and once again, Ateneo just took advantage of the Salt's middle floor defense. Mm -hmm. The biggest vulnerability since last season, even though Abi Marano was still there, the Salt's middle floor defense. Alisa Valdez just saw uh, a wide she, open she lane all game long, and she just kept pounding on it. And hence, Ateneo was yeah, but, to beat advantage. But credit to Ateneo, it's it, 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 a one man, one woman team. Oh, uh, definitely. Uh, like, yeah. like De Leon, Bea De Leon out, came up. back from a finger injury yeah, yeah, yeah. that was supposed to sideline her for a few more oh, weeks. And she's back. Yeah, yeah. And, she, and she played really well. Oh, it's Lasalle, let me play. <laughs> yeah, but these are the times that you miss Melissa going in. Oh, yes. Not, not well, all the stage. Um, uh, there's a big hole in the Libero area afterwards. Yes, yes. <laughs> that was... Uh, that was... The, um, sorry, but I think that's why I'm a fan of one of the Libero's crews. Yeah. But we tend, we tend to do a little bit better yeah, just on the floor. Yeah. I also noticed that um, if you know, the from all the sets at the Neon, the first round was the most glaring, where they won 25-20, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And then in the second round, Coach Ramil changed the defense. He had more of Mika and some, and uh, saw you did some of the... Net defenders get more active, and we got more for points. Yeah. But even beside that, Ateneo still. I think, yeah, I think you know, like Coach Ramil even tried to mix it up a bit. He started with Baron. Yes. He even put Cheng in the yes. center. He yes. tried, he tried the, the, the different combinations, mm -hmm. but it still didn't work out. Yes. What do you think is the reason for that? Like, well, you know, I think you just have to give credit to Ateneo. You know, they took in the, the first the first set they just came out of the gates much more stronger i think that mentally lasal wasn't prepared in the first set as they were in the following yeah. sets and lasal just i'm sorry and Ateneo just came in out of the gates a house on fire i think they were motivated by the return of Bea. yeah and you know they were displaying their heart strong mentality jumping up and down after every score coach Tai dancing in the sidelines and that carried them and not just for the first set but for the whole game. Yeah, uh, very, very good. No, good point. Uh, mm. Brocha is not here tonight but he did send us a video about his thoughts on the game. So, so we can just say that. Oh, that's it. Let's video camera. He's already on the phone. If you're losing a phone, it might be from Brocha. Yes. So, um, Brocha, take it away. Hi. So, I can't make it there tonight. But here are my thoughts on those volleyball games. First of all, the that Lasal Ateneo game, huh? that was a huge crowd. And uh, when the, during the four sets, I think that it was in the first set that we really did shit. <laughs> wala yung, for lack of a better term, wala yung libog ng mga babae yun. Eh. Doon sa first set na yun. Second, third, fourth set was anybody's game. But, uh, during the third set, I think it was 24-23. Well, I think that score was 23-24. No? And then, uh, Mika Reyes was doing the service. Lo and behold, when her face was uh, seen on the big screen, ay, wala. Isang tingin mo palang, alam mo na, iba yung tingin mo sa mukha niya. Wala to. And true enough, pagpalo, lumagpas. Okay, okay, so interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, what are your key points here? Uh, key leverage points of how to uh, know, how to improve Procha? Main point that I'd like to point out. Pagka yung leader mo ay eh, talagang nanggigigil, it rubs off on the players. Think about Abi Maranyo. Uh, hindi nag rub off sa ilan, no? but that's another story. Pero yung gigil niya, yung passion niya for the game, iba, ta, iba tsaka nag rub off doon sa mga kasamahan niya. Oh, yeah. So anyway, in total, can we beat Ateneo this year? Pwede pa yan. If they play the way they played the second, third, and fourth set. Although with more points, no? So, <laughs> sana, no? But three games, 
I think makaka isa da makaka isa pa yang uh, Teneo diyan pero kaya natin talunin ang tatlo yan. So hopefully we'll see them in the finals. Okay. Thanks bro Chef Thank for Thanks bro Chef. I hope hindi mo na ako yung cellphone na yan. Sumang hindi daw ako yung first phone. Yeah, 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 you know, my phone's getting lost. So, nah. <laughs> okay, um so that's it for body college. Yes. Uh, yeah, so now we have to wait uh, for that step ladder series. We have the twice to beat advantage. If La Salle wants to win the championship this year, they have to do it the same way Ateneo yeah. beat them last year. Which but, is kakaya. Yeah, but, but I think one question for Ateneo is how do they respond to that very long way off? Yes, yeah. because the bio, bio finals are in because March. even Abby Marano admitted herself the long layoff helped the team more. I mean, hurt the team more than it helped them. Yeah, we'll talk about it in another episode. Definitely, that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay, so right now that's it for our volleyball episode. We end this round at twelve and two. We can still be number one. <laughs> Come on, guys! Yeah, yeah. Positive, positive. <laughs> so, so thank you. Uh, thank you for guys for watching. Thanks for watching and I'm going And. Sorry, again, rolling and action. So if you like this video, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and on this YouTube channel. Once again, this is Green Fans PH, the only podcast and video cast that is for the LaSalle fans by the LaSalle fans. Everyone LaSalle! <laughs>